All right, if you're having some trouble with this first uh, table, let's take a look at it together. So we can calculate the distance to an object by comparing its apparent magnitude, that is how bright it looks in the sky, with its absolute magnitude, that is how bright the star is intrinsically. And we take a very simple calculation, which is just the difference in those two magnitudes, little m minus big M, and that's what we call the distance modulus. And now when you did the background reading, you saw that there's an equation that relates um, the distance modulus, m minus m, to distance d. But I'm not going to ask you to mess with that because it involves logarithms. Um, instead, what we're going to do is use this little calculator where you could type in a distance modulus and get out um, a distance. So uh, it's doing the calculation for you. So in this case, right when I loaded the page, it said that if there's a distance modulus of zero, that is the apparent magnitude and the absolute magnitude are the same, so that m minus m is zero, then the distance would be 10 parsecs. Now that actually is a pretty good clue for the very first entry into this table because it says the distance is 10 parsecs. So I can work backwards and say, well, that means the distance modulus must be zero. And if m minus m is zero, that means the absolute magnitude must be the exact same as the apparent magnitude. Okay, now I better delete that so that I don't leave it in there for you. <laughs> All right, so now let's take a look at a different example. Let's just say if the distance is 25. Um, that's where maybe you'll use this table. I'm sorry, maybe you'll use this um, calculator, but you can also use this table down here. You might even notice that I chose distance values that correspond to this table. So if the distance is 25 parsecs, that means that little m minus big M must equal 2. Okay, and I give you um, little m, so you can find what big M absolute magnitude should be. So it's kind of putting the pieces together um, in order to fill in this table. All right, if, if I give you m, little m, and big M, you should be able to take um, apparent magnitude minus absolute magnitude and find the distance modulus, and then use this table or use this uh, uh, page to calculate then the distance. Okay, I hope that makes good sense.